So my name is Chris Hafey, and I've been working on applying IPLD to the medical imaging domain. Um, I've been working in medical imaging and healthcare for most of my career, over 20 years now, and I'm really excited about uh, moving from a field which is primarily about mutable data into the world of content addressed data. Um, and obviously that brought me to the IPFS protocol labs, IPLD world. So uh, just a couple of quick slides I threw together here. So one in terms of background or so in medical imaging and in healthcare standards are really important. And the standard for medical imaging is called DICOM. And basically what it does is it takes a given image like a CT scan or an MRI or an X-ray and it puts it uh, in one file. And um, in the file, at the, the very beginning of the file are things as a header, which has like patient name, date of birth, gender, and then the pixel data. And I think there's been, you probably heard of people using IPFS for medical imaging in the past, but there's a real big problem with it. And that is this header does tend to change over time, kind of breaking the whole immutability content addressable uh, model uh, that we really want um, with uh, IPFS and that we actually want healthcare too. And so a couple examples when that can happen is if you get married or you change your name for some reason, um, that can trigger uh, basically a rewrite of these files. Um, if your gender's changed, sometimes you can take this pixel data and compress it from you know, one image compression format to another different kinds of things. So taking kind of standards compliant DICOM files and putting them in IPFS is not the best uh, uh, strategy uh, for us to do it. And so that brought me down the uh, route of IPLD and kind of thinking about how can I take DICOM and storing it in a smart way in IPLD to get the benefits of immutability. And what you can see here is I basically have split the file into two, um, one with the header, which has a little fingerprint, like a CID. So basically all of the kind of metadata is in one chunk. And then the pixel data is in, is in another chunk. And by the way, this is just a very high level abbreviated form. There's a lot more technical depth and details of actually prototypes that's using uh, GSIPFS and it works, it's pretty cool. But um, I want to kind of communicate the high level things about what I've discovered and what I'm doing and also collect feedback if people have it. But basically splitting the DICOM file into two and storing it directly in IPLD. Um, it turns out there's a, uh, if you haven't gotten into IPLD too much, it's like a whole nother world of data modeling. And they have uh, various schemas that they've defined and are defining that do different things. And one of them is called flexible byte layout. And uh, what that does is take basically uh, an array of bytes and then stores it in a multi-block um, manner. And so that really works well for storing standards compliant DICOM files, but then also getting the benefits of uh, immutability by separating the two. And so by using something like this, I can store the pixel data, which doesn't change independently of the header data and change it and get the benefits of mutability and also uh, uh, change tracking. Um, if you take this and you go like into healthcare in general, here's like a typical healthcare data model. Um, it is inherently graph based. You have uh, you know, a patient, you know, there's demographics up here, maybe they have multiple image studies they, that have taken um, over a period of their life, various encounters, observations, reports, lab results, you have machine learning results. and so. This is actually kind of taken from um, the healthcare standard space right now in terms of how we think about things. And what I'm looking at doing is how can I apply that in IPLD world? And so essentially what it kind of requires is assigning, um, kind of like grouping these different pieces of data together into so they can be kind of as a single block or single CID. And so there's some natural kind of breakpoints to um, connect the existing healthcare data model into the IPLD, IPLD world by assigning CIDs to different points. And you can see I also have added the concept of a root up here. And this gives me essentially change tracking in a longitudinal sense, where as changes to the patient record occur, um, I can record that and then basically generate a new root. So in this case, I maybe change something in the patient demographics, like the names changed. I would generate a new um, block IPLD object, if you will, with a new CID, a new root, but I can reuse basically all the existing data that's already stored in IPLD, and in particular is the pixel data, which is way down here, um, the bottom the image frame. And so uh, images are huge. They count for something like 80% of the storage in a hospital. Um, and there's huge benefits of making it immutable and uh, not even deal with you know, changing the data, but basically making it reusable. And not only within just general clinical care for healthcare, but um, also some new things which are emerging like machine learning and AI and image sharing using um, on top of something like graph sync with libpdp shows a lot of promise. 
So anyway, I'm really excited about this. I'm really happy to have found this community. I think you guys are doing fantastic work and just thought I'd share a little bit about how I'm looking at applying the work that you're doing into the medical imaging space. Thanks.